couldn't understand about the shoes, but I wasn't going to object. What is it? Don't touch. Bitten by a crite. Where? How long ago? It's going to be very cold under your body. Be ready for it and don't move. Get on with it. You need to take one side of the sheet and draw it back together. Very slowly, please. Keep still, Mr. Pope. Suddenly, Harry jumped up, stood on his bed and shook his head one after the other violently in the air. At that moment, we both thought he'd been... Bit. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have an exciting story to share with you. It's about a man named Mr. Pope and an unexpected encounter with a deadly snake in his bed. Prepare yourself for a thrilling tale in this Roald Dahl adaptation, Poison, directed by none other than Wes Anderson. So, let's dive right in. And Mr. Wood enters the room and notices Mr. Pope's distress. Mr. Wood, concerned. What's wrong, Mr. Pope? Mr. Pope, anxious. There's a crate under my bed. Determined to help his friend, Mr. Wood immediately starts brainstorming possible solutions. Harry told him to call the doctor. With a sense of urgency, Mr. Wood rushes to make the necessary phone call. Mr. Wood, speaking on the phone. Hello, Mr. Ganderby. It's Mr. Wood. Mr. Pope has encountered a venomous snake. We need your help. Mr. Ganderby, over the phone. I'll be right there. Stay calm. Mr. Ganderby arrives promptly and listens to Mr. Pope's concerns. He then informs Mr. Pope about a serum that can neutralize the snake's venom. Mr. Ganderby, assuring, don't worry, Mr. Pope. I have a solution. I'll fetch the serum for the crate. Mr. Ganderby enters the house and locates the injection needed. With the serum in hand, he administers it to Mr. Pope. Mr. Ganderby, calming. You can allow it to bite you now, Mr. Pope. It won't harm you anymore. Mr. Ganderby leaves the room and joins Mr. Wood, discussing their next steps. Mr. Wood, concerned. So what's the plan? How do we deal with the snake? Mr. Ganderby, determined. We'll administer an anesthetic to the creature while it lies undisturbed. Help me go get some chloroform from my house. After 15 intense minutes, Mr. Pope returns with the chloroform. Mr. Gonderby takes a rubber tube and slides it down Harry's bed, allowing him to pour the chloroform. After a short while, they gently pull the sheet off Harry's body. To everyone's surprise, Harry got up unharmed. Mr. Gonderby suggesting, It was probably just a dream, Harry. Harry, feeling furious, confronts Dr. Gonderby, but Mr. Wood intervenes, diffusing the situation with a knife. A few minutes later, tension still lingering, Dr. Gonderby drives off, leaving Mr. Pope and Mr. Wood to reflect on the extraordinary events that took place. Mm -hmm.